now it's time to create a video. And in this video, you're going to be following along with me. So get ready to pause the video each time there is a step, and then you will go implement that into your own video. So of course you can do your video in a lot of different formats, but for the sake of this video, we're going to do a five tip video. This is a kind of format that you can do for most any topic. That's why we're doing it just for the basic step-by-step -step process. First thing you're going to want to do is come up with a topic, of course, and once you've come up with a topic, you're gonna wanna come up with a title and a way to present it. So for my example, I'm going to be doing a video on five things you must do immediately after a HIT workout. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training, which is a form of a group exercise normally, and it's a type of exercise I enjoy, so that's why I picked this example. So you're gonna want to figure out your five tips, and these are going to need to be very ninja, very helpful tips that are non-obvious to your viewers. We're gonna cover a lot of this throughout the entire course, but try to look around on YouTube and see what's already out there and create a video that doesn't really rely on those types of things. This is very important. You have to give your viewers a reason to stay within the first 10 to 15 seconds. If they don't and they're not interested, then they're out. Now you're going to want to present a problem and then offer them a solution. So I could say something like, do you love HIT, but you find yourself absolutely exhausted after each one and not able to recover for your next session. In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips so you know exactly what to do after each workout to optimize them and also recover so you can go back to your next workout and crush it. Now, if it fits naturally, you can do some sort of identity statement. So I could say something like, by the way, I'm Anna and I do all sorts of other videos like this on HIT and my experience at Orange Theory Fitness, which has transformed my life over the past three years. So if you enjoyed this one, go check out the rest of my videos. Now, when you get into your tips, you wanna make sure every single one of them is ninja and you put a lot of work and thought and original research into each one, which we'll talk about that throughout the course, but you wanna make them non-obvious. To keep them watching until the last tip, I am gonna count down from five. So I'll go from five to one, and you could say something like, make sure you watch to tip one, because you'll find out exactly what I did to gain two and a half pounds of muscle over the course of a year at Orange Theory Fitness. But first, let's get to number five. I realized after my workouts, I was just exhausted Exhausted and I was unable to recover to get to my next workout. So I started drinking something like a Gatorade or a liquid IV or a Noon, which just helps replenish any electrolytes that I lost during my workout. Then you would continue to give your ninja tips. After your last tip, it's great to do a call to action. So I could say something like, if you liked this video, go check out my other video called five simple meals to make right after your hit workout. So that way you you keep them going to other videos on your channel and those videos are somewhat related. So you know if someone liked the video about five things to do immediately after a HIIT workout, there's a good chance that they're gonna like five meals to eat right after a HIIT workout. Pointing them to another video like the one you just did is a great strategy because it really gets them to go to your YouTube channel and binge watch as much as they want. And that could make them become a really loyal fan to you. All right, so make sure that your videos have these strategies within them every time and it's a great recipe for a YouTube video.